Okay, so let's make our way out of here. And we have some more opposition to fight. Yeah, just because we killed off the boss doesn't mean that all the monsters are dead down here. We still gotta fight our way out. But it shouldn't be that hard. And even though Chaz was in single digits, I'm pretty sure we're safe. Go up the stairs, and let's make our way out of here. Hopefully, well, a free attack. I will definitely take it. But I'll need at least two rounds to fight these guys off. But they're gone. And so, let's go back upstairs. We get out of this dusty old basement and go see the principal again. Because we're going to need to get some answers as to what the heck is going on with the monsters downstairs. What does he know? And what will we find out? Hello there again, Principal. Yeah, we're upset alright. And here's something you should ask. Who's got who here in this picture? <laughs> also another question, what are the five more dangerous things in the world than keeping information from Alice Brangwen? <laughs> yeah, lo lots of questions that unfortunately will yield no answers in this game. Nonetheless, I still enjoy it. So, as explained, the professor discovered some advanced civilization stuff. But, as we found out, they've never returned. And Han is obviously livid with the principal here. But apparently, the principal is trying to justify his actions. Because he was introduced to someone named Zio. A fake magician? Well, try telling him that. As you can tell, this guy is pretty ominous looking, especially with the massive shoulder pads that he's wearing. And he has a warning in this flashback for the principal of Motavia Academy. What will happen if anyone goes to Birth Valley again? How about petrification? Yeah. Quite the intimidation aspect there from Zio. Yeah, it's a quite a complex situation, I'm sure. But Alice seems to be more than ready for it. And Han wants to be able to go over there and try and rescue the professor. But of course, Alice is reminding him that. If you want to play, you're going to have to pay. In this case, it's 300 Meseta as opposed to 100. So Han has paid us off again. So it's time for us to leave the Motavia Academy, leave the town of Piata, and start making our way to Birth Valley. But before we do, I want to rest at the inn because our HP is quite low. And <laughs> where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I want to go to the inn. Not to some stranger's house. <laughs> so yeah, pay 15 Meseta, and let's be on our way. Fully recharged, we're now gonna head off to Birth Valley. And in this game, unlike other Fantasy Star games, the towns in this game are packed pretty closely together. As can be demonstrated by the fact that we got to the next town without even getting one monster encounter. So we're in the village of Mile. And this is the Sandworm Ranch that this town has in possession of. And as you can see, there's a sandworm burrowing through the sand quite happily. But we're going to be running into sandworms as we progress, and some of them can be quite foreboding. I mean, you've seen Tre the movie Tremors, right? So anyway, we're going to get some upgraded weapons for both Chaz and Alice only. We're not going to get any hunting knives for Han because Chaz already has two hunter's knives and therefore it's not necessary to buy two more. 
Han will simply inherit the hunter's knives that Chaz already possesses. And as you can see from the armor, it's the stuff we already have, so we don't need to get any more. So, first we'll give Alex two slashers, not just one, to improve her attack. And the steel sword, as you can see, leaves both hunters' knives open, and Han can be now equipped with both of them. And something else that I'm going to do, and this is part of my strategy, whenever I get weapons and armor that I don't need anymore, I'm going to discard them rather than sell them. This is a strategy that I use to um, give myself better improvements on my experience levels because there's a fine line in this game between being overleveled and just um, being in an experience level where you're barely scraping by battles, especially boss duels. And so you really want to um, use this strategy, especially if you're new to the game. Don't sell off your weapons and armor, just get rid of them once you're finished using them. So now we got our first monster encounter out in the wild. The crawlers, and they take quite a bit of the damage on Han there. He got a third of his HP lost there, but it was worth it for the experience in the Mesteta. And... And we get a free turn on the crawler and a pair of monster flies as well. Monster flies are really no threat. So now we made it to Birth Valley and the town of Zima that's protecting it. And just like the people in Birth Valley, the people of Zima have suffered a similar fate. The entire town has been petrified, except for one instant in this particular house we go down the stairs, we find the two sole survivors who were able to avoid being petrified. Two small children who are obviously in fear for their lives, as well as the lives of their parents, as well they should be. So as you can see, every other building is walled up, so we can't go into them. So we're going to go into Birth Valley here. And there are a couple of items that we can obtain in this place. We also take on flatter plants, which can do damage on us like that. They can also cast Acid Breath, which has a small chance of poisoning us. Thankfully, we do have an antidote in case we need it. So, just got a carbon shield, and that's something I can just sell off. Uh, oh, no, not I don't want to sell it off. I want to just get rid of it. And we get another mono mate. So let's take out this flatter plant. Does 3 damage on Alice. But we easily turn him aside, and Chaz is now up to experience level 4. So as you can see, the strategies that I'm using are already paying off. So, we're gonna go to the right before we go to the left, because this place isn't very long. It, it goes by pretty quickly. And as you can see, lots of the Xenophogs and Zoran Fools that we found in the basements of the Academy are also here as well. So, just some cheap experience in Bethesda is all that you get from those guys at this point. And now we gotta take on two Flatter Plants. And there's Acid Breath, okay, so now you've seen what that does. Of course, you haven't seen it in its full effect. And now Han's up to experience level 4. And we get a Carbon Suit, which is an upgrade of armor, and I will definitely be giving that to Han, since he is the weakest member of our party. And as you can see, it almost doubled his defense, so definitely a good idea to equip that on Han the moment you get it. And we turn on the Zoran Bolts. Let's push those aside. And they're gone. Onward we go. And we find more people who are petrified. And we have another battle. Yeah, not much in terms of different monsters in this location. Pretty much straightforward. Cut you down. And so yeah, we found the research team. 
including Professor Holt. And honestly, Han is upset. Yeah, petrification isn't a spell that can be afflicted on your party in this game. You can be paralyzed, and you can be poisoned, and you can be killed off, but you can't be petrified. So yeah, there aren't much in terms of status afflictions in this game, which is good. So our next destination is the village of Molcom. But once again, if Han wants to go there, he has to pay 500 Meseda. He has to pay 500 Meseda to bring his mentor back to life. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, Alice, you cheap piece of crap. You're gonna make him pay to save the life of his mentor. Not very good mentoring on behalf of Alice towards Chaz, I have to say. Now we gotta take on these sand dudes. Whoa. Okay, taking 10 points off of Chaz. Hopefully we can finish these guys off quickly. And very quickly, because Chaz is almost dead and I'm gonna need to revamp my strategy here. Uh, let's just have her attack. Hopefully Chaz can get off some healing before he gets killed off. Um, just have Han attack. Ow, crap! Okay, this one did not go according to plan. I think I better get out of here. Yeah, I think I'm done with that battle, and this was something I was not expecting to happen. Wow, Th that? That has never happened before. And I'm sorry you had to see that. 